back to my channel. My name is Danny Howard and on Instagram, TikTok, and now YouTube, I go by Modern Day Classic. Based on the title of today's video, you already know we have a good one. We're doing the best of 2021. And y'all, I have a list. I have a whole list. I think there are seven categories because to decide like the best items from an entire year, that was kind of difficult for me, which is why we are now in 22 and I'm just doing the video. But that's okay, that's okay. Um, you should definitely get your wine or your tea or your coffee depending on the time of the day because I feel like this is going to be a long one but I promise it's going to be good and I'll have links for everything below and then if the item is a little more pricey I will have dupes for everything below so definitely shop the links um and other than that let's get started so the first category will be shoes and a video I did about a year ago before I disappeared for five months I mentioned that I would be focusing more on accessorizing the wardrobe that I already have I feel like I have enough clothes so when I look back at my list, I actually stay true to my word, which is good. So my first best purchase are these Gucci rubber sandals. I did an entire video on these, definitely check it out. I talked about the goods, the bads, and I gave you some outfit ideas. Now I know we're like in the middle of winter or fall, I don't actually know, one of those now. But just in case you are thinking about them, they're still on the Gucci website, and I'm gonna list a few dupes, I would highly, highly recommend. So it just says Gucci at the top. I got them in blue, the heel isn't too long. They are 100% rubber. Now when I was looking at these shoes, I kept seeing them on Instagram and all the girls had pink and they were always in like a field of lilies with like a cute dress and I don't live anywhere near a field of lilies and I don't look nearly as cute in a dress. But I was like, I wanna be a part of the moment. And I kept talking to my husband about it. He's like, just buy the shoes so you can be quiet about it. Ended up getting the blue. Absolutely, I'm going to buy more next year. So they are around like 380. And yes, you're paying a lot for like premium rubber. It's not premium. You're paying a lot for rubber shoes that say Gucci. But what I will say is these shoes clean so easily. I wore them almost every day in summer because you can wear them to the pool, you can wear them to the beach, you can wear them at the airport, you can wear them as slippers around your house. They do slide because they don't have a lot of grip. So if you're clumsy, you know, a few stairs almost took me out permanently. But other than that, I would absolutely recommend. Now this is probably my favorite like clothing shoe purchase in a long, long time. And either you're gonna love them or you're gonna hate them, but they are the Prada, I almost said Gucci, monolith loafers. And you notice they have the really, really looked so they're super, super chunky. I feel like they're nice like update to the traditional loafer. Um, my only issue with these is the sizing. So I actually had to take out the sole because I ordered a 40 and a 41 and none of the sizes fit. Well, whatever it was, like I ordered one size and then the next size up and I'm somewhere in between. So that was the only issue. But once you break these in, I have to say these are like the most comfortable shoes I own. Like I've worn these walking in New York. I've worn these getting to the airport from literally McAllen to London and I didn't have problems. I wear these at work where I am a university, university lecturer so I'm walking all day. Um, and they make a statement as well. A lot of people say it looks like I have clown feet, including my husband. And when I asked my Instagram audience to vote, they told me to get the um, traditional pair versus these because they said these will go out of style quicker. But one thing I will say about fashion is if you like it, it's probably not gonna go out of style, especially if you're buying it for the right reason. So if you're buying it because it's trendy and you see a few girls buying it and you're like, ooh, I want it, then maybe you won't like it in a few years. But I was looking back at pictures of me in middle school and y'all, this is kind of embarrassing, but I don't know why my mom felt the need to make me dress like I went to a private school at a public school, so I always had like uniforms on in elementary and half a middle school and I had on loafers in. and I feel like the loafers and the skirt were my favorite part so loafers have been with me for a very long time and um, I don't think these are going anywhere so okay so raise your hand if you got on TikTok in 2021 and I didn't want to. I, like I said, I'm a college lecturer and all my students were on it and I was like, I'm not getting on TikTok. Y'all, I got on TikTok and I will say, if you're a content creator, get on there. It changed my life in the world of content creating. Um, it's the easiest way to grow your brand and work with other brands. Different conversation for another day. But one thing that TikTok did for me over um, 2021 is like, I don't know how, but I got on like sneakerhead TikTok. And I was like, ooh, I wanna be a part of the community. Um, and so I ended up with these. And these are my favorite. Now, I bought a lot of Jordan ones. I'm not gonna lie. They kept coming out and I kept buying them. The mochas, all the ones I could get my hand on, I kept buying, but these are the ones I wore the most. I got them off of StockX, so I paid too much for them, but I feel like for me, 
that's just what I'm gonna do because for a while I was like downloading all of these apps and I thought I was gonna win and I was going to the mall and y'all we're not gonna win most of us are not gonna win the young people have all the apps they have all these timers and then there are people who like buy bots and the shoe comes out at 9 by 905 they're gone and you have a whole attitude because you done planned out outfits and you're never gonna get the shoes so I wait for them to buy them up resell them I know terrible and then I go buy them on StockX so out of all the ones I bought these are my favorite especially in summer and spring the colors are just beautiful if you hear noise I have four cats and if I try to lock them out they'll just scream so I see a cat over there hopefully you don't but I apologize if you do so the last you I actually talked about it in my what I got from your vlog not vlog what I got from your video if you haven't watched it definitely watch it um, I just got this one recently but it was on my luxury wish list for a while so I'm hoping it will be my favorite by next year but now for now I feel like it is one of my favorites it is the Alexander McQueen tread boots ah, I love them so much they are so chunky you notice the thing like I love a chunky shoe I just love it the chunkier the better now it took me a while to buy this shoe because they look so similar to Converse and I talked about this in the last video and Converse are like $100, $120. These are like $7.90 I think. I got them in Europe so I don't think I spent over $700 with the conversion and then you get tax back. But I absolutely love them. They make a statement. They're such good quality. And like I said, even if they're not trending next year, Converse never go out of style. I was wearing Converse literally when I was in middle school. I remember going to the swap meet in California and now I'm 30 and I still wear them. I still own several pairs. So for me, these are timeless. Now they are not that comfortable. But with most of my luxury shoe purchases, they're not comfortable until they're comfortable, meaning you have to break them in and suffer. Kind of like a Doc Martin, but that's not a luxury shoe, but you have to break them in and suffer. But then once they get comfortable, it's like you don't want to take them off. So last luxury shoe purchase. If you were thinking about these, I highly recommend. I'm going to leave some below because a lot of times they go on sale. Like I saw a few for like $420. Um, and if I wasn't doing a no buy, I would buy another pair, but I... I guess that's the point of the no buy because I, I tend to just buy things when they're on sale. So the next category are handbags and I was shocked that I only have two, um, but these are the ones I love, I love, I love the most. So the first one, I feel like it's obvious. It is the Coach Pillow Tabby. I got it in green. Beyond just the bag itself, it was like a moment in fashion, especially a moment in fashion, if you're in so on the social media world, right? So I am a content creator slash influencer not here, but on Instagram and TikTok, and I'm easily influenced. So I kept seeing all the girls in the bag, and I was like, I just wanna be a part of the moment. And I live on the border of Mexico, so I just knew they did not have the bag in green. I actually went to Houston, Gallery and Mall, they did not have the bag. Austin, they did not have the bag. San Antonio, they did not have the bag. Something told me to just look at the only coach store we have where I live. Y'all, they had two of the bags. I got one immediately posted it on my social media, and then another girl went and got the last one that was left. And I absolutely love it. I just love it. It wears very well. I'm gonna link them below, but I just went on the website, and y'all, they have so many cool colors now. Like, they have a red one. I think I saw a yellow one. I kinda want another one, which is why I need to just not buy for a while. But I bought another coach bag after this one and it doesn't wear as well. So if you are going to get a coach bag, I do recommend this one. Now the second one is also a very recent purchase, but I know it's gonna be my favorite um, because I've been wearing it every day. And once again, it has a story, but it is the Jackmas bag. I got the medium, I think it's Chequito, I don't know how to pronounce it. I love the shape. There are a lot of things where you can find a dupe and it's just, you know, kind of okay. I've seen the dupes of this bag and I highly recommend just getting the bag if you want the shape of it because none of the dupes do it justice. I will say for a luxury bag, this one is under $1,000. You can get the smaller one for probably $590. And I tried it on in Europe and I was able to put my iPhone, I think I have a 12, passport, keys, and a few cards and a lip gloss. So it's small, it's tight, but you can put stuff in it. But I absolutely love it. When I was in Europe, um, I thought like, because if you look online right now, it says that the bags are not sold out, but shipping times are longer because they're pretty much sold out everywhere and then people are reselling them. Or if you go to like Saks or something, you can like pre-order the bags because they are just in that demand. So I went to Paris and I was like, I'll just get one there. Ciao. You can't just get a bag there either. So people were like, if you find one, you should get it. I went to one store, I think it was like Lafayette Galleria, and then I went to the bigger location where they had the bags. 
and girls were swarming picking out colors and I should have got two because basically this size and a smaller one would have been the price of just like this size in the US well at like a couple hundred more dollars but it would have made sense for me to just get two so in the summer I do plan to get another color um, because the colors are beautiful like pink they have purple blue they come in so many nice colors you can get some that have like faux fur some that have like the boucle on the front of them and they make a statement so if you're out and you want a statement bag everyone will notice even if they don't know Jacquemus because people who aren't into fashion don't necessarily know the brand yet they will see this handle and they're like man that is a beautiful bag the next category are clothes and I only have two items I'm kind of shocked about that um, but the first one if you were paying attention to fashion maybe social media fashion then you probably know about the Christopher John Rogers collection that was in Target and this was another thing it was hard for me to get my hands on so a lot of these favorites there's like a story I couldn't find any locally I was in San Antonio and I was about to go to a vineyard because in the summer and spring your girl was vineyarding okay she was romanticizing every moment of her life and something told me to just check into Target because I didn't really like my outfit and I was able to find this dress and when I tell y'all all of the middle-aged women were like oh, you look so gorgeous and I was like oh my God, no! it was all the color the color was really really given and one thing about me I don't like anything where I have to pull and feel uncomfortable like I like to feel secure the fabric is really good and there was a bit of controversy also with this line on Target I mean on TikTok because some TikTokers went out of their way to go to Target try on the clothes when they had no makeup on they had bad posture and just talk negatively about the collaboration that's my cat it's my cat sorry talk negatively about the collaboration and it's like if you don't like something that's fine but why do you make that like public knowledge especially when Target is starting to diversify when it comes to their designers so I love that I saw so many girls like just really serving in this collaboration because the thing is like if you don't know how to wear color just say that you know like if you're not that girl just say that but don't make it about the collection it's a you thing and it's okay not to like things I go into Target and I see a bunch of clothes that look like they're giving Handmaid's Tale every single day of the week but never do I publicly post about it because someone got their opportunity to be in Target and I'm gonna let them have it it's for a particular audience it's just not me and the last two for clothes happen to be jeans my favorite actually come from good american jeans and i will insert clips because you can't really see them but i have a pair of blue and black and honestly y'all i'm one of the people who like i want to try skims but i'm not necessarily a fan of kim or the kardashians in general um and maybe i shouldn't get in too much but chloe out of everyone really annoys me like she just she annoys me so i didn't want to give these jeans a try but i was doing the nordstrom collab and my stylist recommended them and i was like no sir and he was like yes ma'am and i tried them and i love them I took them to Europe, they fit so good. There's some denim where like you wear them a few times and they just give too much and they feel loose and you feel like you have a soggy booty, not these. Or there's some where they hit you at the wrong spot and you automatically just feel bloated all day, not these. They keep their structure. They're not too long, but I am 5'8", I think. And I'm 5'8", right? 5'8", and the length is really, really good. But I also feel like it's a nice length if you're shorter. I was looking online and they don't all have the best reviews, but I will say I probably bought like 25 pairs of denim over the year. And that's kind of bad, right? That is kind of bad, but these are my favorite. The next category are accessories and I only have one, but I'm gonna list a few more down below that I either bought and lost or that I wanted to try from the brand Majuri. And these are the ones, I literally wear these earrings every day. I've worn them every day for about two years. I lost them and then I bought the dupes from Target. They hurt my ears, they don't have the same sheen, I still have them. And then when I went to the only Majuri store in Texas, in Austin, I bought another pair. And a lot of times on my videos on Instagram, people will be like, where did you get your earrings from? 100% recommend. And it's not like a statement thing, it's more like just a classy, every day you don't ever really have to take them off you always look put together i know there are certain girls who are like i can't leave the house feeling my best without my eyebrows or my lashes for me it is eyebrows earrings and i'm out the door and if i'm somewhere and i don't have these i run to a target and i get the dupes because i don't know i just feel i feel like something is missing i also bought a few of their rings but because i do a lot of traveling i ended up losing them but the rings once again they have a ring that goes with this pair 
and they are absolutely amazing. So if you've never checked out the brand Majuri, but you're looking for like everyday classic signature pieces that are gonna be timeless, that are not gonna turn, that are not gonna hurt your ears, definitely check them out and I'll leave some of my favorites below. So this is probably my favorite part of the video because your girl is a first time homeowner, yes. Um, she turned 30, bought a home because I don't know why. Actually, I do know why. I was doing a Q&A on Instagram and someone was like, why don't you own a home? And I was like, you know what, I don't know. And then the next month, we were looking at homes. Like that is how my brain works. You put something in there and I'm like, hmm, you might be right, but I'm so excited to be a homeowner. I will say it's really hard to get things during the Panini Press, which is why a lot of my house is empty. But out of all the things I have bought, I'm gonna talk about some of my favorites. And I do wanna thank you if you've gotten this far in the video. If you are only here for the fashion stuff, the only thing we have less left is beauty at the end. But the first purchase that I love the most is my couch. I love my couch. I bought a leather couch from Article and I saw a lot of reviews. I was really, really nervous about Article because if you know anything about them, you know they don't have any showrooms. So you can't go in and sit on the couch. And for some people that's a deal breaker, but I'm learning that a lot of us are actually just buying our furniture from like Amazon or Wayfair or maybe you're buying from CB2 or Crate and Barrel and there's no store near you. So we're having to like trust reviews more often than not. And I was looking at reviews and I couldn't really find a lot of reviews that were not sponsored. Well, this one is not sponsored and maybe I'll do an entire review. It's not like the like restoration hardware where you jump in and you sink in. That's not what I want in a couch. That's, that's not even what I want in a bed actually. I want a couch that I can get out of. I want you to be comfortable, but I want you to be reminded that you have to leave if that makes sense. I want you to be comfortable, but I do not want you sleeping on my couch. And I feel like this couch is just beautiful. The next thing for my home that I love is my faucet. I am such an adult, like when you talk about a faucet, but whether you are in a new build or whether you just wanna renovate your current kitchen, I feel like changing out the hardware, the faucet really, really makes a huge difference. If you got a new build, you know that they put the most generic things in, boob lights, terrible like ceiling fans, terrible light fixtures, terrible faucets. I did upgrade for the sink that I wanted, but I did not like the faucet. In fact, I don't even remember it now. And I actually voted, had people vote on my Instagram and I was going between like the black and the gold. And I don't know if I love the black and gold combined like I got in a few years, but it's a faucet. Pay somebody $40 to change it out. I don't think this one was more than $200, but I will leave some from Amazon below that have really good reviews that look similar, and I'll leave this exact one below. The next item are actually my coffee and side table. So I actually wanted um, marble in my kitchen, but the person helping me design my home was like, please girl, don't. And I'm so glad because she mentioned that marble is kind of finicky, kind of high maintenance. So I decided to like try marble in my living room instead. And I absolutely love these coffee tables. I got them from Amazon, but they're from the brand Polly and Bark. And you can go to the Polly and Bark website, but I like Amazon because I can just like return them to a CVS or a Kohl's at my local, like in my local area. And I also just feel like if I have an issue, it's easier to go through Amazon than through Polly and Bark because I don't really know anything about them, but they are mid-century. I got both and I kind of like layered them as a coffee table. So what I'm thinking about doing is getting another one as a side table later, but I highly recommend. I was looking at um, Wayfair for similar tables around the price point and they were not actual marble. They were like some kind of material with marble contact paper and people were showing pictures of them like literally peeling out the marble and I was like, no ma'am, no ham, no turkey. This is real marble, it is heavy. So once you put it on the legs, this is one of those things where like a kid is not gonna be able to move this, people aren't gonna be dragging this all over. It's pretty solid, um, which I think is really, really good for the price point. And at the time, Amazon was offering some kind of discount. So I think I got both of them for under $600, which is a really, really good price point. So if you're looking for marble coffee tables, I'll leave those below and I'll leave a few similar options as well. All right, so the next item are my jacket, 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 Okay, do you know Jackie Ina? If not, what are you doing here? What are you doing here? My Forever Mood candles by your girl, Jackie Ina. She was a YouTuber before YouTubers even knew this was gonna be a thing. And she has a lavishly Jackie page, which I love. She like, she, um, what is she, what is that called? She steams her sheets every day. She's living her best black girl luxury life and I'm actually here for every moment of it. So when she started a candle on, I was like, yes, absolutely. 
sell me all of them so i've gotten a few of them i got one at sephora but i also just go to her website you can be a part of her candle club i love the names of them they're like thottom and caked up and she just has really really cool names they're beautiful one thing i'm burning one right now one thing about her candles is like after you stop burning them you still smell it for the whole day there are certain ones, certain flavors that I have or scents that I don't even have to light them, but when I go in the room, I smell them. The candles are so good. Yes, they are $38 plus tax, but you are supporting a female-owned business. You are supporting a small business. The next two items, I'm gonna pair them together, and they are these vessels slash vases. One set are from Target, and the other are from H&M. I feel like the H&M were sold out, but they do come back and stop, and they sell out very quickly, so turn on your like email notification because they're amazing like the prices are already good but I got them during Black Friday but these vessels look so high-end I'm telling you like they look like CB2 West Elm restoration hardware so during Black Friday they were all in stock and I think I bought like eight and I have a few of them where I don't even know what to do with them yet but I just have them they're just so good and then the next ones are from Target I think they're from the McGee line Studio McGee by Target range I'm not sure but I'll of course include inserts amazing Amazing, like I have them on my entryway table, but if you wanna just put it on your kitchen like island and put some beautiful flowers, like some dried flowers, a few branches, just don't put cotton. Please do not decorate your house with cotton. In fact, Jackie Ina has this whole thing where like, she's like, if you have cotton as decoration, I just assume you own slaves. I just assume you own slaves. Please, let's abolish decorating our house with cotton. It is not a decor, it is not an aesthetic, let it go. And the final home goods purchase is a very inexpensive one. They are amber glass soap dispensers, yes. And my husband was like, why are you buying those? I'm telling you, if you wanna elevate your space, get them. They're like $15.99, they come in different colors. I chose amber from Amazon, I will link them below. They almost have five stars, but you've ever gone into a bathroom and they just, first off, you're happy when they have soap, right? Not the barred soap, because something about wet barred soap that everyone has touched just freaks me out. But if they have like the soap, is it the softy brand soap? You're like, okay, they care about me. But I'm telling you, if you put in something that only costs $15, they're gonna be like, wow, wow, they will notice. And if they don't notice, you will notice. So I have the soap and the lotion. They come with these cute little like, um, stickers to put on them. They don't get wet or anything. The material is plastic, so it doesn't matter. So I bought these and then I bought some white concrete ones and I put those in my kitchen and I'll show you those as well. But my cat's like, they're not supposed to be on the counter, but they're on the counter playing at night and they knocked one over and it just, it shattered. And that one was like $40, which shattered my heart. So I'm gonna repurchase them. Um, but out of the two, they've also like knocked over these amber ones and the amber ones were fine. So I would recommend those and they are half the price. And the final three products happen to be perfume. So another part of like glamorizing the small things in our life that I noticed heavily on social media were girls showing their perfume collection. It might've already been happening, but I could never personally justify spending like $100 on a bottle. I was just like, no ma'am, no ham, no turkey. But your girl Jackie Ina, I'm telling you, like I'm a fan. She kept showing her perfume collection and she kept talking about it and I ate it up. So I know there've been a lot of new releases, but I had to go back in the vault because I had none. I had none and if you, I know there's all this like rhetoric on TikTok like, oh, people wearing their Bath and Body Works and their Victoria's Secret. Where would you like? where what you can afford. Don't break the bank trying to be like anyone else. If it smells good, that's the point. If your lotion smells good and that's what you like, wear that. Let's do that. Let's do that, okay? So the three that I love, and I've collected a whole collection, what I will say, ladies, is like, send them as, as gift recommendations to your spouse because I've not bought most of these. I only bought two and it hurt me. And I'll spend some money, as y'all saw. I'll spend some money, but spending like 158 on the bottle of liquid, something about that does hurt my heart. But what I will say is that they last a long time. Like I've used most of these for almost a year now, and it's like barely any gone. So I'm imagining that five years down the line, I'll still be rocking the same perfume. So I've tried everything from Chanel, which you'll see back there, to YSL to all the other stuff that people recommended. And the brand that I like the most is from Hermes. Y'all, <sighs> these smell like heaven. So I will not pronounce the names because you will not screen record me and embarrass me. But this is the first one and I'll put it on the screen. This smell, oh, can you smell it? Oh, oh, 
It smells so good. So let me read the what it's supposed to smell like. Warm and sensual, amber patchouli balsam of Peru, made in France. I smell like the vanilla notes for sure. It is very warm, it's very sensual, it smells like dessert, it's just everything. I don't know how much this retails for, probably like a hundred or so dollars, I'll link it below. But try it out, even if you can get the smallest size, try it out, I love it. The first perfume that I liked from Hermes was actually a men's one, a men's one, and my husband bought it, and then I researched it, found out it was for men, and I was like, if I like it on me, I'll love it on you. But what I'm finding a lot of times is that they're unisex, like if you like the smell, wear it. This one, my husband would not wear because it literally smells, it just smells, smells so romantic and sweet. But there are some other ones where I'm like, I could smell, spray that on him and he would smell delicious as well. Okay, so this is the second one. There you go. It is the Twilly de Hermes. And I love the bottle, but more importantly, I love what's inside the bottle. Now this one, I would honestly like spread on my husband at night and just sniff him. Is that weird? Like it smells unisex to me. It's almost a little masculine. And I'm shocked I like it. So this one I spray in my house. Like I just spray a little bit of in my house. Not too much because I have cats so I don't want the animal people coming after me. Um, and I know if they don't like something because they'll just like, I'm not gonna tell you what they'll do. But they make it known if they don't like the smell and they're fine with this one. It is strong. Oh, it smells so good. Okay, so this one says, a daring fragrance woven with striking ginger and sensual tuberose, a floral, spicy and exotic scent. Mm, made in France, absolutely. I highly recommend. So these may not be super trendy, but I'm telling you, if you want something more woodsy, go for this one. If you want something super sweet, try this one. Hermes, guys, like it's Hermes. You can't go wrong with Hermes. The bags are expensive, the perfumes smell expensive. And my husband's like, we're an Hermes family because the one that he bought for me that he uses, I'm looking at it right now, he's like, I just feel rich when I wear it, and I do too. So the last one is just like the first one, but it's blue. And this was like the newest one to my collection in, as far as Hermes, and let me read it. Oh, it says, a woody and amber tone, a sparkling and brisk plunge into the deep sea, juniper berry, patchouli, mineral stones. Patchouli, mineral stones, yes. It's so good. It is so good. So, yeah, try one of these. I'm telling you, you won't be disappointed. If I have to go in order, probably this one is the one I use the most. And then this one because it's the one I use in my house. Um, and then this one just because I just love it. And this one is also, it feels like it can be unisex to me. So, and there you have it. I am shocked we made it. I don't know why, but I just feel like I was so nervous to do this video because it's so much talking. And as you know, if you look on my page, I'm fairly new to this. I promise I will get better. And I'm constantly trying to remind myself that in order to be great at something, you have to be bad probably. Like when I started Instagram, I was bad. When I started TikTok, I was bad. And it was with practice that I got better. So thank you for watching. I know it's probably not the best lighting. I know it's not probably not the best sound, but I promise. As I continue to show up for myself on this platform, I will invest in the right equipment. But let me know what you thought of my list, because that's why you were here. Do you feel like I got some good items? I'm looking over it and I feel like I do. If I have to say a favorite from each category, definitely for shoes, it was the loafers, handbags, the Jacquemus bag, clothing, it was the jeans. Oh, I wanted to include a blazer, I forgot. I'm gonna do a whole video on blazers, because there's one blazer that stood out, but I forgot and it's too late. Um, like I said, all of the links will be below. Let me know which items were your favorite. And if you enjoyed this video today, don't forget to like the video, thumbs up it. Don't forget to comment your favorite or something that wasn't on my list that made your list. And don't forget to subscribe. And other than that, you all, we will chat later. Bye, guys.